What's going on, man? How you been? I decided today, man, just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you guys. We is right now six months into the year, bro, and I'm asking you as a homie, as a personal friend, what are you waiting for? Like, be honest with yourself and be honest with me, bro. What are you waiting for? You know what I'm saying? How many times are you going to tell yourself tomorrow, tomorrow, next week, next month? We're halfway through the year, gang. We do six more months and we're going to be in 2025. So what are you waiting for? You know what I'm saying? What is holding you back from where you want to be? Is it your mindset? Is it procrastination? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it other people in your ear? You have to identify why you're not in the place you want to be and create solutions to it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we're going to come with all these problems, all these excuses. We're going to say this, we're going to say that. But if someone were to ask, so what's your solution to it? We're quiet. We gotta become solution makers, not problem creators. Because you know we all gonna have problems in life. You know what I mean? You can be the richest person in the world and you still gonna have problems. But that doesn't mean you just stop. That doesn't mean you don't start. Just because you're going through a little something. You may be in high school, bro. You may not be the most popular kid. You may be sitting by yourself at them lunch tables wondering why is my life like this? Why did God do this? Why did God allow this? But you know what you gotta do with that? You gotta feel that pain, bro. And you gotta use it. You know what I mean? You got to be able to take advantage of any situation, even the hard ones, because those hard situations are what creates your story. We all have a beginning. We all have a place from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're born rich, we all start from somewhere and have to grow from it. So you got to understand that you're not the only one that feels pain. You're not the only one that feels hurt. You know what I mean? I know what it's like to go to school. Everybody got the new J's, but you coming in with the Walmart sneakers. I went to high school not being able to afford those things. But guess what? After high school, I was able to buy every shoe I ever wanted. And now shoes aren't even a big thing in my life no more. You know what I'm saying? Your time will come. You can have that full circle moment, but you have to work to get there. You know what I mean? You got to earn those things. You know what I'm saying? Some people got it given, but you wasn't in them situations. I wasn't in those situations to get it given to. So what we got to do is we got to earn it. You know what I'm saying? We got to take them extra steps that not everybody is willing to take to be able to get what we want. What you have to do is you got to take them learning lessons. You got to take all those pains and you got to use it to grow. You got to say, you know what? This is a moment in time in my life and I'm going to use this and I'm going to channel this pain and I'm going to use it to work even harder in life. You know what I'm saying? Because nowadays I can look back at those moments and see how far I really came. Now, you see right now, you may be depressed. You may be in a situation where you're hating life because you're only thinking about the right now. You forgot that you still have a whole future. And trust me when I tell you, when you leave high school, none of that stuff matters. I'm trying to tell you, none of that stuff matters when you leave high school. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm in the real world, I see it though. But you don't see that when you're in high school. All you see is, damn, he got the latest this, damn, he got the latest that. So you may feel out of place. But your time gonna come if you just continue to work. If you continue to do the things that the other people don't want to do, you will get ahead. Always remember your bigger picture because the time that you're in gonna pass and the next era of your life gonna start. And if you're only focused on the now, that next part of life finna hit you and you gonna have nothing planned. But if you continue to think about the future, when that future comes, you already well prepared for it. You already took the steps you had to take to get to the place you wanted to be. So when the time comes, you'll see that all of a sudden, you're at the spot in life that you wanted to be. You'll always be content with what you got as well because anything can just be taken just like that. And someone out there wants the life that you have. But at the end of the day, man, you gotta grind. You gotta work. You know what I'm saying? The older I get, the more I realize that's just what it is at the end of the day. You gotta be able to put your head down and do the things that other people don't wanna do if you wanna get to a place that other people don't get to. We gotta understand that most people aren't gonna get to the place that you wanna go to. You wanna be able to retire your family. You wanna be able to have the freedom to go wherever you want. You wanna be able to fly out all your friends and family, have the peace of mind that you can take care of everyone around you. Congratulations, you got big goals. Most people don't wanna think about that stuff. Most people just worried about, you know what I'm saying, the party that's happening on Friday, but you got bigger dreams. You got bigger aspirations. So you gotta put your head down and grind day in and day out to pass the people ahead of you, to get to the spot that you really wanna get to. And that mindset, that willingness, that grind, that discipline, that determination is what separates you from the rest, is what leads you to become that 1% person. 
We got to think about it, man. If you want to be a 1% person, a top 5% person, that means you got to do things that 99, 95% of people are not willing to do. You know what I'm saying? Some days you may have just two hours of sleep. Some days you may have to stay up a little late. You know what I'm saying? You can't play the game today because you're trying to start your business. You know what I'm saying? You may be getting made fun of because you're not going to the parties on the weekend. You're working on your online business. You know what I'm saying? Some people may not understand. But still, through it all, you gotta grind, bro. Some days gonna be hard. You gonna wake up some days and be like, man, I don't wanna do this. But again, you gonna have to wake up and get to it. I was talking to my homie the other day. What separates people like LeBron, Michael Jordan, Kobe from the rest of the league? It's easier than you think, man. All these people, the greats, what separated them from the rest of the league was that they stayed an extra hour or came to practice an hour early, every day. There's a thing called compound interest. And if you don't know what it is, imagine a snowball. When you roll it at first, it's real small. But over time, as it keeps rolling and rolling and rolling, it compounds and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And by the time you're at the bottom of the hill, a snowball this small is now this big. But what did you do? You continue to do the same thing. You were just rolling it step by step but over time that compound interest it kicks in man just think about the people in the nba while they're partying clubbing kobe putting them shots up you know what i'm saying lebron in that gym lebron spending a million to keep his body healthy michael jordan in the gym hours hours because if you just do one extra hour a day you are now 365 hours ahead of the rest we be thinking that we gotta do all these things, but really, all you gotta do is just take them extra steps, take them extra reps that the masses of the people won't do, and you'll get ahead of most people. And we're in the best time to do it because the average person does not wanna work, bro. The average person is lazy. With the way this content is going and the way social media is happening right now, all these algorithms, people is addicted and all they want is pleasure. So if you can delay that pleasure gratification just for a little bit and just grind and keep going and keep pushing, you're gonna be ahead of all these people, man. I'm trying to tell you. A day at a time, trust the process and your day will come, bro. I don't care if it takes you a day, a week, a year, a month, your time will come, but it's all in God's hands. You just gotta keep putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? If we go to Galatians 6, 9, it says, let us not become weary in doing good, for at a proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Now, what does this mean, man? Continue doing the good you have to do. If you wanna be a YouTuber, you wanna be a streamer, continue to stream, continue to vlog, continue to make music, continue to do what you wanna do, continue to draw, continue to make those designs. In due time, God will come in and do what he has to do because you will reap your harvest in due time as long as you do what you have to do. You know, one of my favorite things about God is that as we're going on our journey, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times we don't know where we're going. We don't know our destination. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's gonna happen a week from now, but God does, you know what I'm saying? And Proverbs 3, five to six says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. He will make your path straight. So out of two verses, we know that as long as you follow God, you do the things you have to do, he will one, give you your harvest and you will sow and you will reap what you sow. And two, he will guide all your path straight. It's as simple as that, man. Put in the work, keep going and put your trust in the higher power, man. Because he can do the things that we think is impossible. What, what to us is impossible, to God is possible. Another thing I was talking about with the homies, man, we talked about motivating factors. Now, a lot of people, they get discouraged because what motivates them doesn't push them, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, a car is just a car. A penthouse is just a penthouse. So you gotta think of things that is so big that it makes you wanna work. Now, you may be saying, YJ, what's motivating you every day? What well, motivates me is that I wanna get to a point that before I'm 30, I wanna retire my parents. What motivates me is that I wanna be in a position that if anything were to happen, I know that I'm good, my whole family is good, 
and all the homies around me are good and I'll be able to take care of everybody. What motivates me, it go way farther than just cars and a nice crib. It goes way more than that. Now a lot of people, what happens is they get motivated by they get motivated by a small thing and they either reach their goal or they stop caring about their goal. And because of that, they stop having motivation and they fall off their course. Now, this is gonna happen to you if your motivation is a penthouse, if your motivation is a fast car, if your motivation is anything material, jewelry, whatever it is, your motivation will fail. Why? Because it's not real motivation. You gotta get something way bigger. We gotta stop thinking so materialistic. You know what I mean? Start thinking about the bigger picture. I wanna see my parents living their best life, being able to go on vacation whenever they want to. And I'm sure that's stuff you want too. You gotta think so big that it almost feels not even real, that it's not even possible to do. That's how you know you have a real goal. That's how you know that you'll really get somewhere. Because I know the same things that I just said, I know you want that for your folks. I know you wanna retire your moms, you wanna retire your pops, you wanna get your family them nice cars, them nice cribs, you wanna make sure all your homies straight. You wanna be able to have your parents go on vacation whenever they want. I know you want those things. So when you start thinking about generations, family, you know what I'm saying? Friends, real people, and stop thinking about just material, you'll now have a real motivating factor because you see these people every day. I walk and I see my mom every day. I see my pops every day. I see my brother every day. So when I see you, I'm motivated. I'm like, dang, one day I'm finna put you in the biggest house you ever seen. You know what I mean? That's the type of things I'm thinking about and that's what drives me to go crazy every single day. Now, do I work hard every day? Do I never slack? No, I'm human just like you're human. There's days that I fall short. There's days that I'm not perfect. And that's why at the end of the day, motivation is just a small sliver and it really is on discipline. But at least those motivating things allows you to take that next step, which leads me into my next topic. You have to take that first step. Because you got to think about it. Yesterday, you said, I'm going to do it tomorrow. That's now today. And tomorrow, your results are going to depend on what you do today. So my question to you is, what are you going to do today? Because if you don't do anything today, you're going to be in this same spot tomorrow. And if you don't do anything then, you're going to be in the same spot. And it's a constant rotation. Every time you say you're going to do it tomorrow, your future gets pushed back another day. The blessings God wants to give you gets pushed another day. And you keep repeating the cycle over and over. So now a blessing that God wanted to give you six months ago when you said you were gonna start in January, he's now been waiting and it's now six months later. You see how that works now? You've been saying tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. And now you forgot about your goals in the first place. It's crazy, isn't it? So you have to take that step, bro. You know what I'm saying? After this video, figure out what you want to do and figure out what you can do today so that tomorrow you're already going off of momentum. So tomorrow you're able to say, well, yesterday I did something. Let me capitalize off it and get to step two because you can never get to step two, three, four, five if you don't start. And if you don't start today and you keep saying tomorrow, gang, you ain't never going to start. And the last final thing, that I have to tell you guys, because I gotta keep it real with y'all. This is one of the biggest things that I've been battling myself the past couple weeks, the past month. And that is to tell y'all that 90% of your problems is all mental. Like, it's crazy to say, but half of the things that you think can go wrong, it's all in your head. And the biggest thing that's holding you back is yourself. At the end of the day, it's you versus you. When it's, six in the when it's six o'clock in the morning and that alarm goes off, I'm not there to save you. Your parents ain't there to save you. You gotta make that decision. Because you can easily wake up at seven. Your family ain't gonna wake up till eight o'clock. So you're still gonna be ahead of the game. But you know deep down, you set your alarm at six. So what is you gonna do about it? It's a you versus you game. And I can admit, it hurts sometimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been struggling with things as well, man. You know what I'm saying? Consistency ain't easy. Business isn't easy. YouTube isn't easy. None of this stuff is easy, bruh. But you gotta continue to get back up and keep going. You cannot stop. Whatever you're going through, you cannot allow that to stop you. Because if it stopped you, you might as well have never started in the first place because you stopped. You gotta start something and you cannot stop. If you want it, 
it will come to you. We just talked about it with the scriptures. It is destined for you. If there's something you want and it's already been put in your head, it's destined for you. But you just got to put in the work and you got to take away all the mental stuff and you got to push it to the side, bro. I'm not saying it's not important. What I'm saying is those negative thoughts you're having, the anxiety, the depression, you got to push it to the side and you got to work past it. You got to say that's not you because you have a voice. Remember, it's all in your head, bro. It's all in your head. So you got to remember that when you go through it because the voice is going to come. As soon as you get a little bit momentum, the voice is going to come in your head. Oh, no, nah, it's not going to work. Oh, no, nah, they're right. All, all the people that were saying that you're wasting time, they're right. Just go back to playing video games. Go back to YouTube, bro. Stop making videos. Go back to just watching it, man. You're not going to be as good as them. All mind games. But when you post a video, everyone's going to love it. It's all a mind game, man. I'm trying to tell you. But with that being said, I hope that helped out somebody. We are six months into the year. I'm probably going to make videos like this, giving game, maybe every three, four months. Because the last time I did this was about three months ago. You guys love that video. So I decided to drop another one. I love y'all boys. I just want to say I appreciate y'all for holding it down. I appreciate all the prayers y'all be giving the kid, man. I appreciate all y'all, man, because you guys have been one of the biggest impacts I've had in my life on this journey of life. So I appreciate you guys for just sticking along on my journey. And I hope that as I go along on my journey, I'm able to give you some game and give you some advice to help you on your journey. Because my goal with this channel is not only to just motivate and inspire, but it's to really help you get to where you need to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm not this channel that's just going to show you this lifestyle and just have fun all day. No, bro. I'm trying to make sure you get to a point that you even get past me and you go farther than I could ever go. You know what I mean? That's where my heart is at. I'm really trying to help you, bro. So I really hope these videos help, bro. Anything down in the comment section, let me know, man. What you got going on in life? What you going through, bro? You know what I'm saying? Past few weeks, I've been struggling with consistency. I've had a lot of mental back and forths. You know what I'm saying? So I say I go through it too, bro. We all go through it, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, There's no point in life where you'll stop going through things. You know what I mean? So we all go through things. But at the end of the day, we all in this together at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I made this channel. So us as a community can go up together. With that being said, though, I love y'all catch you in the next video and peace face out